Adam 12 was a popular television series that premiered in 1968 and ran for seven seasons until 1975. The show revolved around the daily experiences of two Los Angeles police officers, Pete Malloy and Jim Reed, as they patrolled the streets of the city in their patrol car, Adam 12. The show was praised for its realistic portrayal of police work, showcasing the challenges and dangers that police officers faced on a daily basis. It was also notable for its attention to detail, with the producers consulting with the Los Angeles Police Department to ensure accuracy in the show's depiction of police procedures and protocols. Adam 12 featured a talented cast, including Martin Milner as Officer Malloy and Kent McCord as Officer Reed, both of whom became household names due to their performances in the show. Other notable actors who appeared on the show throughout its run included William Boyett, Fred Stromso, and Gary Crosby, among others. The show's popularity was due in part to its focus on the human side of police work, with storylines often emphasizing the relationships between the officers and the people they encountered in their daily patrols. It also had a strong sense of community, with the officers often interacting with the residents of the neighborhoods they patrolled. Do you have any fond memories of watching Adam 12? If so, share them in the comments below. Adam 12 was a television series that captured the hearts of audiences in the late 1960s and early 1970s. One of the reasons for its success was its ability to blend gripping storylines with relatable characters. Martin Milner, who played Officer Pete Malloy, was one such character, and he was a firm favorite among viewers. Interestingly, Milner's daughter, Amy, made a guest appearance on the show, playing the character of Debbie McMahon in the episode titled Victim of the Crime. In this episode, Debbie's father, a shopkeeper, is shot during a robbery, leaving her traumatized and emotionally scarred. Amy Milner's performance in this episode was captivating, and it was clear that she had inherited her father's acting talent. Her portrayal of Debbie's pain and anguish was authentic and moving, and it was clear that she had a bright future ahead of her in the entertainment industry. The fact that Martin Milner's daughter appeared on the show only served to deepen the connection between the cast and the viewers. It was a poignant reminder that the characters we saw on screen were more than just actors playing a role. They were real people with families and personal lives outside of the show. Victim of the Crime remains one of the most memorable episodes of Adam 12, not only for the outstanding performance by Amy Milner, but also for the way it tackled the issue of gun violence and its impact on innocent victims. In conclusion, Amy Milner's guest appearance on Adam 12 was a touching and poignant moment in the history of the show. Her performance in Victim of the Crime was outstanding, and it was clear that she had inherited her father's acting talent. The episode remains a powerful reminder of the impact that gun violence can have on innocent victims and their families. The television series Adam 12 premiered in 1968 and ran for seven seasons, captivating audiences with its realistic portrayal of the daily lives of two police officers patrolling the streets of Los Angeles. One of the lead actors on the show, Martin Milner, played the role of Officer Pete Malloy, and his performance was widely praised for its authenticity and sincerity. Unfortunately, on the 6th of September 2015, Martin Milner passed away, leaving behind a legacy that would forever be remembered by his fans and colleagues. In the wake of his passing, LAPD dispatcher Sharon Claridge, who provided the voice of the dispatcher on the show for all seven seasons, decided to honor Milner's memory in a very special way. Claridge broadcast the end of watch call transmission over the LAPD radio, a tradition in which a dispatcher reads a scripted message to recognize the passing of a police officer. However, in this case, Claridge's transmission was specifically dedicated to recognizing Milner's contribution to the show as Officer Pete Malloy. The emotional and heartfelt transmission lasted for nearly three minutes, as Claridge paid tribute to Milner's talent, dedication, and kindness. In her transmission, Claridge spoke about how Milner had not only been an amazing actor, but also a wonderful person to work with. She described how he had always been willing to take the time to talk to the real-life police officers, who worked on the show as consultants, and how he had made a genuine effort to learn about their experiences and perspectives. Claridge's words were a testament to the impact that Milner had on the cast and crew of Adam 12, as well as on the millions of viewers who had watched the show over the years. 
Her tribute was a fitting way to honor the memory of a talented actor and a beloved human being, and it showed just how much Milner had meant to those who knew him. In conclusion, the end of watch call transmission that Sharon Claridge broadcast over the LAPD radio after Martin Milner's passing was a touching and heartfelt tribute to an actor who had made a profound impact on the television industry and the lives of those who worked with him. Milner's legacy will continue to live on through his work and through the memories of those who knew him. In the late 1960s, television audiences were captivated by the groundbreaking police procedural series Adam 12. The show followed the daily routines of two LAPD officers, Pete Malloy and Jim Reed, as they patrolled the streets of Los Angeles in their patrol car. The show was known for its realistic portrayal of police work and was praised for its accuracy by actual police officers. But Adam 12 was not the only popular TV show at the time that depicted the work of emergency responders. In fact, another show, Emergency, which premiered in 1972, focused on the work of paramedics and firefighters. While the two shows were not directly connected, there were occasional crossover episodes that featured characters from both shows. One such crossover occurred when the paramedics from Emergency found themselves at Rampart Hospital, where they crossed paths with the cops from Adam 12. This meeting of two iconic TV shows was a rare treat for audiences, and it showcased the camaraderie between different branches of first responders. The characters from Emergency were portrayed as skilled medical professionals who were dedicated to saving lives. They worked closely with the police officers from Adam 12 to provide emergency medical care to victims of accidents and crimes. The scenes that featured both sets of characters were intense and dramatic as they worked together to keep people alive. What made the crossover episode so engaging was the way it brought together two different perspectives on the same job. While the police officers from Adam 12 were focused on catching criminals and maintaining order, the paramedics from emergency were focused on saving lives and providing medical care. Together, they formed a powerful team that demonstrated the importance of collaboration and teamwork in emergency situations. In the end, the crossover episode was a powerful reminder of the heroic work that first responders do every day. It showcased the bravery, dedication, and professionalism of both police officers and paramedics, and it inspired audiences to appreciate the difficult and often dangerous work that these men and women do. And so, the crossover episode between Adam 12 and Emergency remains a beloved moment in TV history, a reminder of the power of collaboration, and a tribute to the brave men and women who put their lives on the line every day to protect and serve their communities. Adam 12, the classic police procedural TV series from the late 1960s, was loved by audiences for its realistic portrayal of the lives of Los Angeles police officers. One of the show's most interesting plot elements was Officer Malloy's bachelor status. Malloy, played by Martin Milner, was a charming and dedicated cop who never seemed to settle down, and his romantic exploits were often a major focus of the show. Interestingly, despite his character's single status, Martin Milner himself had actually been married for 12 years when the show began. Milner's real-life wife, Judith Best Jones, was a prominent Hollywood makeup artist who worked on many films and TV shows throughout her career. Similarly, Kent McCord, who played Officer Reed on the show, had been married for seven years when the series began. McCord's wife, Cynthia Lee Doty, was a successful actress who appeared in several TV shows and films during the 1960s and 70s. Despite their real-life marriages, both Milner and McCord were able to convincingly portray their characters as eligible bachelors on the show, and their on-screen chemistry with their female co-stars was a major reason why the show was so popular with audiences. Of course, Officer Malloy's bachelor status was just one small part of the larger story that Adam 12 told about the lives of police officers in Los Angeles. The show was praised for its realistic portrayal of police work and for its willingness to tackle complex social issues such as race relations and drug abuse. Overall, Adam 12 was a groundbreaking show that helped to redefine the police procedural genre. And while Officer Malloy's romantic entanglements may have been just a small part of the show, they added an important human element to a story that was often gritty and intense. The iconic television series Adam 12 first premiered in 1968 
and quickly captured the hearts of audiences across America. The show followed the day-to-day -day lives of two Los Angeles police officers, Pete Malloy and Jim Reed, as they patrolled the streets of Lan their police cruiser. One of the most memorable aspects of the show was the police radio call sign 1 Adam 12 that the officers used to identify themselves. But have you ever wondered what 1 Adam 12 actually meant? The call sign may have seemed like a random assortment of words and numbers, but in fact, it had a specific meaning that was rooted in the LAPD's radio communication system. The 1 in 1 Adam 12 referred to the division in which the officers were stationed, which in this case was Central Division. The Adam part of the call sign was the letter designation for the type of police car they drove which was a 1967 Plymouth Belvedere. And finally, 12 referred to the area they patrolled, which included parts of downtown La. However, as eagle-eyed fans have pointed out, there is a slight discrepancy with the call sign used in the show. Although the officers were shown working in Rampart Division, the actual call sign for that division should have been 2 Adam 12 since one was reserved for Central Division. It's a small detail, but one that shows the level of attention to detail that went into making the show feel authentic and true to life. Despite its initial run ending in 1975, Adam 12 remains a beloved and iconic show that continues to be watched and enjoyed by audiences today. And while the show may be fictional, the use of real-world terminology and procedures helped make it feel like a true representation of the hard work and dedication of law enforcement officers everywhere. So next time you hear the call sign 1 Adam 12, remember the meaning behind the words and the legacy of this classic TV series.